I've had a couple friends praise the video work that I've been doing lately. Thanks guys. And a common comment that I get is, dang, you know so much about the game. Well, after having been in the community for over six years now, I've garnered myself a fair share of knowledge about the game and its inner workings. So when Nuna plays on YouTube suggested that I make a video on how Minecraft multiplayer has evolved, my first thought was, that's a great idea. I mean, I've been a part of the server community since long before large multi-server networks like Hypixel ever even existed, back when building in creative mode actually required plugins, because creative mode didn't exist at the time. So without any further ado, here's how Minecraft multiplayer has evolved over time. Before I get started, I just want to say that I started playing Minecraft during Alpha 1.2, which means my knowledge of classic servers prior to that point is quite limited. But in the beginning, as you would expect, pretty much the vast majority of Minecraft servers were teeny little self-hosted servers using server files that Mojang provided. And for the vast majority of people who were still just messing around with survival mode, and in an era before the beginning of mini games, that's all that most people really needed. But even back then, then, there is one critical reason above all others that the need for modified servers was desired, which is creative mode. For those who haven't been around long enough, until Minecraft Beta 1.8, Minecraft didn't have creative mode built into the vanilla game. You could only get that functionality through the, at the time, still thriving Minecraft Classic community. Shoutouts to Team 9000. But given how moddable the Java coding language actually is, it didn't take too long for modified server clients like CraftBucket to emerge onto the scene. And fun fact, when I first set up my own modified server to get a pseudo creative mode to mess around with, it was using CraftBucket 0.0.1. That's kind of awesome. As time progressed and plugins started getting made, more and more advanced plugins began to emerge, from player disguise plugins, to world editing tools, to entire permission systems that helped lay the groundwork for what was to come next. No longer were all Minecraft servers catered to the vanilla game, and Minecraft servers being what they were could only support so many players at a time, while the world record for the most amount on a single server before it crashed is somewhere in the thousands, if you wanted to deter lag and have a usable playing experience, you're limited to about 100 to 200 players before things get really tough. And with Minecraft growing at the alarming rate that it was growing, the next step became abundantly clear, multi-server networks. My first experience with multi-server networks was with the now defunct Skitscape server. In a nutshell, the way multi-server networks work is there are systems in place that allow you to go through a portal or type in a command in game or whatever to be teleported to another map. But internally, your connection is actually moved to another physical server entirely, which might have different plugins depending on what's required. This works because behind the scenes, there's actually another server that's just managing the connections and basically telling Mojang servers, yup, this person is connected, there's no problems here, and it's that server that keeps track of where you are. Once multi-server networks became possible, the possibilities for what a server could be were truly unlocked, and this is where the advent of the next big evolution of servers came from, minigame servers. So now that you as a player could bounce around between different physical servers with different active plugins within each server, more and more coders began to emerge on the scene to develop all new custom content for Minecraft servers. The first big explosion of which that I can remember was probably the popularization of Hunger Games recreated in Minecraft since I was a part of that first survival games match. These days, multi-server networks have grown to be able to house tens of thousands of people or more, with dozens of minigames or more on one single network. I'll probably do another video in the future about the evolution of minigames, so be sure to stick around for that. But yeah. Anyways guys, that just about does it for me for now for this topic. If you enjoyed this little story time, please feel free to leave a like on it, because it would really help out myself, the channel, and the video quite a lot. So I hope you all enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.